let's get into some Demon Souls, okay? Let me enlighten you guys. So, for those of you who weren't here on Thursday, we played Demon Souls for the PlayStation 5. Still, what the hell? Don't rem I, I know. We played Demon Souls for the PlayStation 5, and let me just say, I was really, 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 really enjoying the game until a very specific moment where I wasn't. And I will give you guys, for those of you who missed it, I'll give you guys a little replay just so we can all catch up on the kind of up-to-date lore hey, well, for the Demon Souls run, okay? So please, please enjoy. Um, this will be difficult for me to watch. Whoops, the heck? Anyway, I'll take... Oh my God. Are you shitting me? No! I'm not gonna lie, I don't ever want to play this game again right now. I honestly don't ever want to play this game again right now. Anyway, I'll take All right, I'm back. Oh yeah, it, it hurts God. to watch. Thankfully, I didn't have to watch because me? Zoe said that uh, that food was ready, so I went and got food. Here, let me let me just explain something. My brain cannot recover from something like that. Wow, look at Mystery School in the chat being so just the most rude. Uh, my brain cannot recover from something like that. Okay, I have to be honest with you guys. I when I used to play Dark Souls two, and that it was my first ever Souls game I ever played. Um, I would totally reset the run if I lost 200 souls at the start of the game. So, I'm kind of realizing now that there is no universe where my brain can psychologically recover from losing 7,766 souls at the start of the game while playing the, the one class that starts at soul level one. So, this is all in service of saying. Ricky Smile had a very good run. We learned a lot. We became experts at trudging our way through the gates of Boletaria. That said, I think it is time to send, cast him off into the ether. I'm gonna start fresh because it's the only way I'm gonna clear my fucking brain. A new Daniel Load, I think so. I think I think Daniel Load's legacy can live on here. Yeah, dude, Daniel Load's legacy lives on. Are you body type A or B? I was uh, A A A B. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the run easy one run. Yes, dude. I I believe in me as well. I'm gonna start with basically everything identical. Royalty was sick. Kunai we don't need. We want the providential ring. And now, wait, we have a saved appearance. Oh no. Appearance. So we basically just made our guy this guy. Do we want to make another guy this time? What if we make him this guy? I kind of like that guy a little bit. I kind of just like a sad purple guy. Do we want him to have any hair? Facial hair? I kind of love that guy too, to be honest. I mean, he needs to have purple everything, obviously. Clean shaven? Clean shaven's pretty good, yeah. 
But like alternatively, like what about this, you know? Like what if we go with something like this? You know what I'm saying? Like, gotta have dark purple facial hair. See, Lurking Horror knows exactly what I'm going for. I see you're starting a new game. Yeah, I'm sorry, Susie. I, I, I just, my brain cannot recover. Sadder? You want to make him sadder? I, I mean, I do like kind of the sad level that he's on, but I think we could even go sadder. A three-inch goatee? You mean something like this? Oh, that actually goes a little bit hard now that I'm looking at it. It's like the same shape, but one has a little twit, a little tie in it. Is this first time Demon Souls? Hey, Sea Monkey, we played it on Thursday, but it went. Uh, it we met a we met a tragic fate, a, a tragic end. So we're starting over. We're starting fresh. Clean, clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. The robot's broken today, so there will be no... Uh... See, I don't think he has any tattoos. I think he's just a guy. Sad purple Forrest Whitaker. Wow, he does look a little bit like Forrest Whitaker. Although one of his eyes needs to be a little bit more messed up for him to be full Forrest Whitaker. Now, how do I make him make his eyes sadder? Seven, pretty sad. Thirteen, oh, thirteen might be the most sad. I think thirteen is the most sad. Also, let me just say, I think he needs some brows. What the hell is this? Oh, oh, oh I see. All right, all right. No brow life, just like my dad. But I think I'm. I think I want to get away with from that. You know what I'm saying? I think that is not really my vibe. Why did they make his hair green? Come on, are you gonna do my boy like that? I wish we could give him like just a little tiny earring. Is that an option? I would love to just give him one little gold earring. No, that's okay. I think his ears are looking a little bit clownish. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Put them things to the side a little bit. Well, maybe actually the, the weirdo ears kind of made him who he was, you know? The cropped ears? What is that even? These are the ones he had. Yeah, okay, I do think he needs to have ears sticking out like crazy. All right, actually, the more I think about it, the more I like the big weirdo. The hound dog ones? <laughs> I don't know which these? These big old fangs? All right, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot, actually. I love how sad he looks, most of all. Phase six is what we're on. Is there any way he can get sadder? Phase three, pretty sad, huh? I mean, this guy looks miserable, dude. I love it. Gonna shoot off, gonna uh, have to get up early. Hope you have a good, great time. Always love dropping by. Jordan, dude, thank you so much for the raid. Dude, I wish I could come to your streams more often, but they, you know, when they happen right before mine, it's it's hard to sneak in. But dude, Jordan, thank you so much for the raid, my man. Always love to see you drop by. Have a good night. Have fun sleeping early. You know what they say, the early bird gets the worm. So have fun with your worm. Um, all right. I don't think we make him horribly disfigured. I think we just want him to, what in the heck? Kind of some ritual scarring? No, 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 that's not my man's. Nah. You know what? All right, I've decided I'm not going to do the ornate goatee we're just gonna do normal normal ass yeah 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 normal long goatee that's the move who getting they worm to bed at a reasonable time because it's good for their health not me not me all right daniel load dude let's go king alant the 12th 
by channeling the power of souls brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern Do we want to watch this again or not? Daria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Volataria was cut off from the outside world mm. and those who dared That's a pro streamer move. Deep fog never Return. Pro stream remove. All right, have fun. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Volataria's plight. But the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its uh. eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. I like the intro lower cutscene, Sea Monkeys. Mighty warriors lured this by This whole game looks incredible. Braved the fisher to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. I think if I dug a little bit deep, I would really like the lore for this game. Bior of the Twin Fangs. Bior. Yurt the Silent Chief. Yurt. Saint Urbain. Skurva the Wanderer. Ellie, is this your first time playing Demon Souls? Because you're so Ellie is playing an illegally uh, acquired copy of the PlayStation 3 version of the game. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Volataria's borders. Oh, my fucking life, Veronica! Congratulations. Can I tell you, I left work early today. The deep fog. Because my dad and the guy that works with us, like the one person who isn't my family who works with us, the director of operations, they were just in the back chopping it up about all the anti-mask rhetoric that they watch on Fox News. And I decided, I think I'm leaving early today. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Would you like to play the journey to the Nexus? Holy shit, you don't have to do, do the tuto. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Whoa, dude, look, she's in the Bloodborne pose. That Let that statue. Be granted so the world might be mended. Ricky P for anti-mask. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. If you kill the first guy, you get sent to hell. You mean the boss that you get smoked by in one shot? The Genichiro? Or is the Scottish guy who I will never remember who it was said on Twitter that one, that said on YouTube when I, in the video I watched, Genichiro? This the lady with the feet? Oh, you fucking know it. It holds together the northern land of Volataria. Yeah, that is the unfortunate part of customer service sometimes, Veronica. But as long as they're nice, you know, as long as they're nice, I'm all, I was always like, okay, I get it. That's fine. You have died and the Nexus has imprisoned your soul. You get a second boss that you can't kill? They're like, all right, fuck you. All right, so. Well, you slipped through the fissure too. They use the same voice actor as the doll? Wait, really? Mm. You knew here. Are you here I cannot service? believe that this game has facial facial animations. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. The way that he fucking bears his teeth. Pretty funny. In trade, I'll give you weapons. She a lady and she got feet? This game has everything. No interesting. Oh, there's loot. Oh. Lego beard? You talking about him? Yeah, he do got a Lego beard big time. He got big time Lego beard syndrome? Look at that shit, bro. You know 
Dude, tell me that you snapped on your beard and then snapped on your head above your beard without telling me that you snapped on your beard to your neck and then snapped on your head above your beard. Stockpile Thomas is the funniest name for any character in any video game. I tried to call this guy a funny nickname on Thursday when I was playing because I was so aghast at the nickname Stockpile Thomas. And I could not think of a name that is even equivocably funny to Stockpile Thomas. Anyway, Umbaso, let's do this. Hey, praise be to Lord Umbaso. What's up, V Tahoe? Stocky McStockington, see that, I mean, that was almost anti-funny. That almost cleansed Stockpile Thomas of the funniness like a curse being lifted. But unfortunately, the curse of funniness was too strong for, stock, for the name Stockpile Thomas. And also, what's up, Vitaho? Thanks for joining us. Uh, okay, dude. So let's take a second crack at our first playthrough. We, uh, I mean, is it really important if we keep track of deaths? Who, named, who the hell named Thomas? That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm gonna remove the uh, commands from the title because... First blind? Yeah, this is my first playthrough. Although we, we played up to uh, Phalanx on Thursday. We played up to Phalanx on Thursday, and then we lost all of our souls, so we're starting over. Hey, what up, Diz Beef? Thanks for joining us, Leah. Happy Monday. Let me know if the sound level is, levels are okay. No death run incoming for the gates of Boletaria? That would be kind of fun. So I don't have to activate that. We learned that last time. 394 times? What an oddly specific guess. Shit! Wait, 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 wait. Chill, chill, chill. I gotta, I, fuck, I forgot to switch what hand my, there we go, there we go, there we go. Hold on, hold on. Put that there, put that there. So I'm trying to remember any of the secrets that we learned. So what did we, we did the scimitar. That was nice, but the problem is I don't remember where we got the scimitar. Whoops. Okay, I'm swanging on this man with no fucking, no weapon. Uh, Crescent Moon Grass, yes. Are you completing an Archstone before moving on to the, to the next one? I really don't know, to be honest. Here's what I will say. I would love to get the Moonlight Greatsword, and people say it's in 4-2. Um, I don't know if it's even remotely possible to, like, rush that, but I would love to get a little MLGS rolling. Because what can I say, dude? I'm an MLGS fan. I wish you the best of luck getting that sword. I don't like the way that you said that, Jaw. Not like, but I'm saying like suspicious. And also, I don't like the cut of your jib, to be honest. And I'm, I've, you know, I've waited until now to say it, but I figured now is the perfect time. Also, wait, Jaw. I don't know if I, I don't remember if you said anything earlier, but I, I ran into two of your homies on Valorant last night. I'm seeing Jax on Friday. I haven't decided when I'm going to see Jax next and whether or not I want to go for a crazy hair dye again or just go for a normal hair. I might try and grow out my hair a little bit because I think I'm a little bit tired of having it shaven. But I don't know. I think it kind of looks good shaven, so I don't know. It just feels like I don't feel like a guy who has his head shaved, you know? It feels like not me, you know? Like, this doesn't seem like on brand. Wow, thank you so much, Jaw. Wow, look, I've been pushing it up inside of my hat. Well, actually, maybe you guys can't actually see that. To me, it looks very strange because it's usually pushed down. It is also only one centimeter long, so there is truly not much of a difference. But to me, it looks like, whoa, I'm a different guy now. Anyway. Hmm, 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 hmm. This is pushed back, exactly. Pushed back by my my beanie. Okay. So, whoa. I, I'm really not sure. Does anybody have any recommendations uh, for whether or not to finish an art stone before moving on to the second one? I didn't get it, I'm sorry. I don't know what the reference is. Maybe it's something that I do know. It's hard. It's so much pressure on me when someone makes a reference to something in Twitch chat while I'm streaming. 
it's like I'm getting put on the spot immediately as a, as a knowledge check. Oh, okay. Tower of Latria after 1-1. One, one. Is that a troll? Woo. It's an I think you should leave quote. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I still haven't watched season two. I just don't be watching much Netflix aside from with Zoe. And Zoe wasn't crazy about... Well, we watched episode one of the first season together. And uh, she wasn't crazy about it. So I finished it on my own. But I have not gotten around to watching season two yet. Dude, can I just say... Godie and I were talking about it in the Discord. But I watched, on Godie's suggestion... Zoe and I watched Archive 81, the new Netflix horror series. Horror. Psychological thriller, I guess you could call it. Uh, Godey recommended it after he watched two episodes, okay? And it is a show that executes the first two episodes. Uh, Y'all think it's considered pretty good. And then everything after that, boy, oh boy, does it just fucking fly off the fucking handle, dude. It's a, what is it, a eight episode series? Yeah, it's eight episodes. And if I could just say, dude, it is in a good way or a bad way. I think the first two episodes were great. It presented a pretty interesting concept, although the concept for the entire show is a little bit scattershot. Um, but by the end of the fucking first season, it just goes everywhere. Halfway through, my girl was like, this is a totally different show now. It was bonkers. The final two episodes, like, it just sets, you know, it's like, it's kind of like, first of all, this show was definitely trying to do a Stranger Things where they make a cult sci-fi hit that gets renewed for, you know, 20 seasons until, you know, 2040. Um, the show was very... Oh, yeah. Did I... Oh, yeah. No, you don't need to. It was very clearly going for, like, uh, you know, getting renewed and, like, getting a little cult following. And then eventually people love it so much that you have, like, you know, T-shirts and Urban Outfitters and fucking you know, pop-up bars themed around Archive 81 and et cetera, et cetera. However, they did not do it very well. But point is, the final two episodes, you know, it's, it's a little bit like Stranger Things where they're like, oh, go to, we're going to the Upside Down. Uh, but let's just say, dude, the Upside Down and this shit is absolutely pogged out of its gourd in a way that is... I still haven't decided good, if it's good or not. Hey, below average Benny. Evening, I'm brand new to Souls. Have played like 10 hours of DS3. Can I ask if this is the PS5 game? Looks unreal. It is below average Benny. This is the PlayStation 5 remake of Demon's Souls, the original predecessor to the Souls-like genre and the Dark Souls series. And yes, this is the PlayStation 5 remake, and it is really, really cool, and it's really good looking. And I'm brand new to this game. If you have the cash, but I have trouble, trouble finding the inventory. Yo, Benny, take it from Jason. The man knows how to get his fucking hands on a PlayStation 5, okay? Namely? Namely? That PlayStation 5. Namely, that one. Is the one that he knows how to get his hands on. And also the other one. That he got Jesse. You don't know who Jesse is, Benny, but don't worry about it for now, okay? You'll catch up on the lore later. Ooh, wow, I never did that running attack. That's such a clean setup. Yo, thank you, dude. It's, it's pretty fucking new, I will say. It's pretty new. Why is this coming off? Thanks. I like it a lot. It really helps the, the room feel... Wait, it's crooked as hell. What the fuck happened? Here we go. That's strange. I don't know how it got so crooked. Cool wall art. Good setup. Hey, thanks. Friend of the channel, Olivia. Friend of the channel, Olivia made that. 
Also, yeah, I fixed my... Anyway, I've been putting a lot of work into the office because I like having a curated space, you know? And it's like, part of me really wants to hire like a fucking interior decorator or something someday when I have the money. Maybe I'll... Well, I Holy shit, did that guy just parry me or something? But anyway, it's been a while, you know, the office has just kind of been like... A room where the cats eat that also happens to have my desk in the corner. But I'm taking some more effort to like... Give it a more intentional fucking vibe, you know what I'm saying? Looks huge in person. Yeah, the PS5 is astronomically huge. It's part of the reason why we're, I'm keeping it in here, because it's just I'm like... A man, Hank. Hey, who did that? Yo, Frito Lover, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Are you really a Frito Lover, or is that just a kind of an, uh, um, a metaphor? Okay, this is the guy that smoked us 800 times. What was at the other end of this bridge? I can't remember. We do not have a PS5. Jason just procures them for other people. Don't do this. Yeah, you're right, Ellie. You're right. You're right. 